Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. I thought I would cover the recent earthquakes that have been happening in New Mexico and the panhandle of Texas. Um, Mentone and Midland, Texas. The largest earthquake was a magnitude 3.5. It was near White City, New Mexico and had a depth of 5.2 miles. The next largest earthquake was a 3.1 near Midland, Texas. The uh, fracking and disposal of the wastewater um, seems to have reactivated an ancient rift system. I got it partly drawn out in yellow and in red. White Cities, New Mexico and Eddy County sits in a region with moderate seismic activity, largely tied to the oil and gas operations including hydraulic fracking and wastewater injection. Data from the past few decades show the area experiences frequent small earthquakes with about 1,600 quakes per year within a 100 kilometer radius, most below a magnitude 3.0. Larger quakes are rare, but not unheard of. Since 1900, three quakes above a magnitude 5.0 have occurred within 100 kilometers, the strongest being uh, 5.4 in Reeves County, Texas in 2022. The most notable activity near White City includes a magnitude 3.5, 18 kilometers north northwest on April 2025 the 12th with uh, moderate shaking near the epicenter but minimal impact expected. Small quakes like a 2.5 on April 14th uh, of this year, and they're typically going unfelt. It's really a um, sparsely populated area. The area's seismic risk is considered low overall with a 2.18% chance of a magnitude 5.0 or greater. Quakes within 50 kilometer in the next 50 years. And that's according to USGS. However, the uptick in small earthquakes since 2000s correlates with increasing drilling activity, a pattern seen across the uh, Permian Basin for context from 1931 until 2023. 18 earthquakes of a magnitude 2.5 or higher, or higher were recorded within 30 miles, the largest of 4.1 in 2005. Um, they said back then that there was no significant damage or injuries have been tied to the recent events. But Midland, Texas, which is in this location, has experienced a notable increase in earthquake activity in recent years, largely once again attributed to oil and gas activity like fracking and wastewater injection. There was a magnitude 3.1 earthquake registered yesterday at 12.12 a.m. Universal Time with light shaking near the epicenter. Again, no reports of damage or injuries. But then on February 28th of this year, a 4.8 quake hit 16 miles southwest of Ackerley, about 27 miles northeast of Midland at a depth of 4.2 miles. A similar earthquake, a magnitude 2.6, followed later that same day. A significant 5.1 earthquake occurred September 16th, 2024, and it was later revised to a magnitude 5.1. That earthquake was felt as far as Fort Worth and Austin, Texas. Um, it's tied for the fifth strongest earthquake in Texas history with over 1,800 quakes reported, but no, ma uh, no major damage. The next strongest recent earthquake near Midland was a 5.4 event on November 16th of 2022 near Range Hill. Midland averages about 163 to maybe 296 earthquakes annually, mostly minor, magnitude 1, maybe 2 or 3, 
larger magnitude fives are rare, occurring roughly every five to ten years. Since 2010, at least two quakes above a magnitude five have hit the area with 63 quakes of a magnitude four in the past decade within 186 miles. Research links increased seismicity to wastewater injection from oil and gas operations, which stresses fault systems. A 2022 study noted the quakes moving northeast towards Big Spring along a rift structure that has been recently reactivated, and that's what's drawn out in yellow. Seismic activity has risen since 2018 with clusters in northwest of Midland. Researchers expect more quakes in zones near Big Spring, Big Spring and Stanton. The Permian Basin oil activity makes Midland a hot spot, but quakes remain, they say, moderate, rarely causing significant harm. Yeah, that's fine until it's you that's been hurt. Here we got uh, 2022, 5.4. This one here, a 3.1. Um, again, that one was yesterday. And we got quite a few over here from last year. This one here was a 4.0. November uh, 5th, we got a 3.3. And I haven't been marking them all. I generally don't follow the earthquakes because there's so many of them. And it's all man-made. Um, yeah, what do you do about the damage? Um, they're not being financially held responsible. But if they had a major rupture along this ancient rift system, yeah, it would be very devastating. So what are your thoughts? Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.